friends hello people welcome to another transfer video now you're probably sitting on the first time who is this flames 27 is this is meant to be no it's not it's far it's for han um and um yeah from fusion footy recently changed my name from Van football to fusion footy um a couple of hours ago but look today i'll be bringing you some transfers um and you know to keep you guys updated on some transfers maybe you guys heard about them maybe you haven't well i'm here to tell you that i'll be bringing them uh to your screen today um and um you know be, do be sure to go subscribe to my youtube channel search up hansel football search up um fusion footy um and uh, go down there and subscribe to my channel subscribe to this channel too if you haven't uh, which you probably have because you're watching this video but uh today i'll be bringing you then the five transfers um that i'll be talking about so you know no messing around we'll go on to the uh, first transfer uh and that is dembele is meant to be sold is you know set to be sold at barcelona so it says the barcelona ceo has confirmed that dembele will be sold this january transfer window well by the end of the january transfer window the 31st of january uh because dembele no longer wants to stay at his current club barcelona therefore he doesn't want to be in uh, Barcelona's plans or the next project that there is or going to happen at Barcelona he doesn't want to stay there um and look Dembele he's um he's been he was dubbed as being a great winger really uh from his move from Borussia Dortmund for a quite a high fee uh to Barcelona has not worked out for them quite and with the financial situations that they are in Barcelona I think it's only right if they do go and sell Dembele because the wages are pretty high when you look at you know overall so the wages are high so you know to get to get this player out who doesn't really provide or give any sort of services to the club um i say get him out on a 20 30 million because again the profits there are it's it's gone down the drain i really um but i think you know you can save a lot of money with the wages and um he's previously has been linked with chelsea um of course liverpool man united and arsenal well i think he'll move there probably not maybe i mean if the club's going to Chelsea, have shown some strong interest in him, uh, but when they have already got, a re a, they've got, they are bombarded. They, they got, they are bombarded with too many, uh, you know, attacking players. So would wouldn't Usman Dembele benefit at Chelsea? I don't know. Um, if you ask me, no. Um, but um, you know, I'm not the one who can comment on his future, uh, because he, only he can change his future. But look moving on to the next transfer then and we have arsenal's vlaovic plans um of course look arsenal are ready to make him uh, the second highest paid uh player at arsenal football club behind current well not current well um um was captain of arsenal was stripped off the captain c by Mikel Arteta, uh a banyang who's again future at Arsenal is um, uncertain and look are looking numbered now. Um, so with now he could become the top earner with around reportedly saying he could be, uh, earn around three hundred k, which Bam Young's and three hundred and fifty k. Um, so again, quite a high rage taking that kind of risk, but he has been set to be the next Zlatan. So you know you got to go for it. Um, Arsenal they do they desperate need for a striker they're looking and they see the potential in Vlaovic as their next you know big star moving to the on to the next transfer we've got Lingard's transfer to another club now of course we've seen Spurs West Ham and Newcastle all shown in interest of course Newcastle the latest team to come in for this player who came Obviously, bid got rejected by New Ca uh, by uh, Manchester United, and the only way they're gonna let him go is but on loan, uh, like he did last season to West Ham. Now, they have said that they will only let him on loan on a fee of a three point five million to the rest of the season, which I think is ridiculous. You know, maybe a season fine because he can do it, but for three point five million on loan, I just I don't see any teams coming in for that. Um, I don't see any teams coming in for that because you're basically paying another team. Because I, they, they, Man United are not going to get low, Jesse Lingard. They're not going to let go of him. It's simple as if someone comes in fifty million. 
okay maybe maybe they go for that but look 20 million 30 million they're not gonna accept they're not gonna accept um so you know newcastle in interest their bid got rejected so moving on then to the fourth transfer we've got carlos diego carlos from seville reportedly getting really really close to newcastle um and the only thing standing is actually the seville football club because apparently there's been a 60 something something that's 67 release calls in there but of course you know Diego Carlos 28 I believe you know experienced health calm head and I think he's got the quality and um overall you know to you know fix this defense that Newcastle have um but look I think that with um with all these transfers will Seville let Diego Carlos low in January I'm not quite sure Currently, personal terms have been agreed. Five-year contract for around thirty million pounds, but they're confident they can get this through with uh, the bid, the recent bid that they have put up for put up for thirty million, and a um, Diego Carlos did want to put in a um, transfer request. So um, you know his desire to come into the Premier League is pretty strong. So they think Newcastle are very determined and are passionate about this deal uh, and get it over the line. Uh, moving on then to the last transfer, and we've got today uh, we've got Tushimani, um from Monaco, uh, League One. And now Chelsea have been boosted with this transfer. Um, you know midfield, and he's he's been dubbed to be this next Ndolo Kante. Um, and um, look, this transfer fifty million, get it over the line, uh, Chelsea. He's a great start, you know, one for the future, one to watch for the future. And uh, if they can get this over the line from Monaco, you know, Monaco had to produce a lot of good players. Um, but, um, yeah, this deal, I think, will happen, I think, to Shimani. Maybe not this January, uh, but maybe in the summer, I think Chelsea will really push for this deal. Um, thank you for watching, then. Um, I will end it there. If you guys did enjoy it, as always, go down there and subscribe. And uh, on that note, people, um, um... Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. From uh, what well, I won't be on this video, so if you want to go see more um about me, go ahead and go to Arndt Football or Fusion Footy. Thank you very much and uh, goodbye.